Good morning, George Peabody School. How are you doing this week? Well, I've been thinking a lot about Peace Week and our one play. Awesome job, fifth graders. Thank you again, Coach Dan. And the story of the one play is about upstanders and how one person can make a difference and really turn the tide and really encourage others to make changes and how one person standing up for others can make all the difference. And I've been thinking about how the one play was all about standing up to bullying and injustice and when you see someone being treated unfairly, how important it is to stand up and be an upstander, not stand by and be a bystander. But I've also been thinking about how one person can also um, show a small act of kindness and how that can also turn the tide and make all the difference. And every single day we have the chance to show small acts of kindness. Sometimes we know that those acts of kindness can make someone else feel better. We might know that, you know, setting the table when a parent is busy can really help in the home and they might say, thank you so much. That helps so much. Sometimes we don't know when we smile at someone, when they're having a hard morning, maybe that smile made that person feel like, oh, maybe I do belong in this class. Maybe I could have a friend. Maybe someone did notice me and we never know. Sometimes we know, but we may never know how our small act of kindness made someone else feel really good that day or in that moment. So I wanted to read to you a story today called Be Kind by Pat Zeitlow Miller, illustrated by Jen Hill. And this is about how an act of kindness can help another person, but also how it can spread around because kindness can be contagious. Here we go. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. all over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too. Right here. But mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. Purple's my favorite color. I don't think it worked. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, Snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving, maybe cookies for, making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink, cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. <laughs> cleaning up with a napkin. <laughs> Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl to be my partner. Listening to Aunt Emily's, Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. I thought that said Emily. It says Franny. <laughs> Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying thank you, bless you. But mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Kayla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbaum. 
What do you think? Do you think it's kind when people use your name? It's nice when people remember your name, isn't it? Being kind can be hard too, though. Even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky. Even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard. And really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, they could grow into something big. Something really big. So big that all our kindnesses spill out of our school and spread through our town. Do you see all these little kindnesses? Holding doors, donating, carrying books for someone, helping someone with directions. And travel across the country and go all the way around the world. Wow. Right back to Tanisha and me. So we can be kind again and again. And again. What do you think? Do you think that small kindnesses can join with other people's kindnesses <laughs> and go around the school and around the city and maybe around the world? Can they be contagious? Can they go around your family? Do you think by doing something kind for someone in your family might make someone else have a better day? Do you think you could give it a try? Can we give it a try this week? Let's give it a try. Let's put some kindness in our heart and try those small acts of kindness. And if you have any good ones to share, I'd love to hear them. I hope you all have a wonderful week, George Peabody School. And until I see you again, bye.